Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a level 11 tarot. I am Danny and also known as RD on the No Crime No Time channel. So if you want to head over there, you can help me support Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. Okay, you guys, listen, I'm campy. And I thought, why not take you guys out into the wilderness with me? Now, far off in the distance, you can hear a generator. So, um, but I've been actually sitting here meditating and I had to put my headlamp on because and walk the perimeter. I can hear animals all around me. So you never know what you're going to hear. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I broke my green crystal, you guys. Yeah. So I just put it in here. I put a this one too. Um, amethyst crystal. And then a little green one. I don't even know what that actually is. Okay. Now, this is the last night that, oh, I'm shaking the table terrible because it's like a camping table. Sorry. I'll try my best not to do that. Okay, this is the last night that you can have a chance to win this because tomorrow night I'm going to announce the winner of both this deck of cards as well as the 1111 Wheel of Life. So if you want to register or sign up or whatever for the contest, I'm going to draw the winner tomorrow night for the Gilded Revere Lenormand Expanded Edition. And then this is going to be yours. All you have to do is put deck giveaway in the comments below, and it'll be yours if you are drawn. I just heard something. I almost stopped the camera, but we're going to keep rolling. I mean, we're just going to leave it roll. If I get eaten by a bear, you'll see flashes of me moving around and screaming, ah. <laughs> okay. Also, just put 1111 Tarot giveaway in the comments down below. And let's get started. Let's ring the bell. We're just going to do it once to clear the energy. Archangel Michael, please protect us in the sense of our energy, our body, our mind, our spirit. All right, you guys, let's move that over here. Let me grab a drink and then we're just going to get started. Everything that I'm lighting with is candles and like USB lights, which could go out or whatever. So <laughs> bear with me. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a timeless reading, which means whenever you find this message, then it's possible that this message is for you. We're going to start with the paper moon deck. Get your energy involved. I think we'll go with Gemini's. I've been very confused because it's like the channel got changed or something for Gemini's. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but here we go. Take a risk. The universe is on your side. 423-21. So that would have been April 23rd, 2021. Think back to that third week of April. It might have meant something. And it says Mars enters Cancer. Waxing gibbous moon Virgo. So you're being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone. It's a nine when it's reduced. 423, five, yep, yeah, a nine. Cancer Virgo. Somebody in their feelings kind of sitting back, not really taking any action. That was too many cards. It's meant to come out at will. Somebody's really in their emotion and they're just sitting out of things. Oh, you got an extra one. We'll put that one right there for serendipity. And as you go through that cycle, it says energetic, playful, and flirtatious. Time to treat yourself. You've earned it. 722. 
22 is a master number. Sun enters Leo, waxing Gibeous Moon, Capricorn. Now, Cap Capricorn came into my mind earlier, too. Sun enters Leo. Happiness, family. I think you're really going to be focused on family. I feel two different energies here. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm by myself, so. Okay, you guys. Let's get busy. We're going to go here in the east where the sun rises. Let's go ahead and grab the shock or wisdom tarot for that. And as the sun rises, it's where we tend to wake up in the morning. It's our first thoughts of the day. It's about what we're manifesting as we begin to think about things, talk about things, we feel things. And what do we bring to the table? Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is more in the Leo energy in the Capricorn, if you ask me. But... It's over here with the Cancer Virgo. Has the queen been hurt and pulled back her emotions? It's almost as though there were three energies that you look at that you feel you can't make a choice between. And so there's something you just can't decide what to do with it. And so you're just quiet. But you're about to speak up about something. You're, you're silently loyal. Wow, you got four cards. Let's just spread them out. We're going to go right over here into the west. This is where the sun sets. Two of cups. Leo over here is happy, go lucky, in love. And uh, could have earth in their chart fire in their chart as well over here um this person's in their emotions and they're kind of they've they're guarded they're very protected and this person's not sure how to approach them because they're so protected like i feel like these are ghosts of the past that um haunt them and so they just can't seem to get past the betrayal of I get the world, like everybody betraying them, three of swords. And so they're taking a new beginning to be by themselves. Because they just feel they can't trust the situation. Um, they can't trust the world. It's like everybody betrays them. So they're taking, um, they're, they're basically setting roots somewhere else. Like in life, they're changing up everything. Let's look at this Two of Cups a little bit. This Leo Capricorn. The Empress. They see someone as the Empress. Possibly you. Or you see someone as the Empress. Depending on which side of this coin you're playing on here. So show me more about this Empress. Six of Wands, they definitely want victory with the, the Empress, and they want to come in hot. They want to be victorious. You have the Six of Wands as well as the Chariot. Both are winning cards. And the Empress with the Two of Cups. That's beautiful. All right, so I feel like one of you, you're going to have to figure out which one you are. One of you is pulled back, not communicating very, very much, just quietly like not trusting and so the energy is all pulled back and I feel like you're rooted and you're like drawing energy into you which is giving you a great deal of strength it says take a risk the universe is on your side Mars enters cancer take a risk see she doesn't want to take a risk the queen of swords is like uh uh if it's not a sure deal, honest, straight up, nope. So you're being encouraged to take a risk. This energy is being encouraged to be playful and flirtatious. 
Eight of Coins is this challenge of working on yourself to be able to take this new beginning that you're being urged to take and let go of this Three of Swords pain that you're feeling that's holding you back. Eight of Cups, walk away from the pain. I want to qualify that Eight of Cups walking away. You got an Eight of Coins, Eight of Cups, 88. You might want to Google that. Princess of Coins. Okay. What? Death, Scorpio card. Ten of Wands, the Burdens. The Queen of Coins. And the Four of Wands. All right, let me look at this a little bit better. What's going on? Something's curved. Like, did I feel like I had a card flipped? I don't think so. I'm not sure. All right, you guys. Let's see what we got here when we were looking. Mars Revo Ro. I kind of wish it was raining because I'm protected from rain. And it would keep me from being like, what was that in the woods? What was that in the woods? Okay. So your North Node has you walking away. And uh, there's this opportunity with this Princess of Coin. Something material is being offered to you after you walk away. Scorpio, death, and rebirth. Something stops and starts a completely different way, like rejuvenated. The burdens of the past are holding you back. See, you go from the Princess of Coin, Death, Ten of Wands, Death to the Burden. So you go from the Princess of Coins when you walk away from this right here. The ten, this, this burden of the past of just absolutely Three of Swords. Being in this energy of, I'd rather be alone because I can't get hurt than, you know. And when you when you step out of that, when you walk away from that, The wands get put down and you become the queen of pentacles or queen of coins in this deck because this is aligned for you. Four of wands. You can see my breath. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera terribly. Okay, I hope I haven't been doing that the whole time. Probably have. Um, let's stack this up. Very interesting in your north node. You got that four of wands. So let's see what serendipity has. As we look at these two energies, somebody's wanting to come in and bring you this offer. And they want to be victorious. It's the cup. It says, you don't see this gift coming out of the blue. 1006, 2021. Pluto goes direct in Capricorn. New moon in Libra. Capricorn, double tapped. Libra fresh on the board. So you've got water with Cancer, Earth with Virgo and Capricorn, and uh, air with Libra. And then also that Leo card is fire sign. You've got Scorpio on the board with the death card. You've got Cancer on the board with the chariot. And uh, let's roll from here. I see. Let's see. I want my hands a little. Ooh, glad I had this little lantern. It literally is a tea light inside the miniature lantern. And I can literally warm my hands on it. All right. Nice. I didn't start a fire tonight because I got here kind of late and it had been a storm. And I wanted to go see the sunset, which I got all kinds of pictures for the new channel, which is You're With Me Now, which is delayed a little. It'll be starting in July. Hope you enjoy that. It's just us doing all kinds of fun stuff in nature. All right, let's get some clarity on this Queen of Swords who's holding on to this pain, who needs a new beginning, needs to let go of this Three of Swords. There's something flipped. I kid you not. Three of Swords in reverse. That's in illumination. In clarity, quickly. Something is going to get unbroken. I don't know what the hell this is. But this is big, and you do not see this coming. I kid you not. Now, there was another card. I swear, unless it flipped all 
if it did a 360, it'll come back out. Let's just go slow because I felt that energy. And it was crazy. Like somebody just did a double take. Like, woo. Somebody's coming in. Let's get this wisdom. Wisdom on the board. Qualifying this Queen of Swords, letting go of this pain so that we can get to this new beginning. Letting the pain go of the past. Wisdom. Ancestors speak. Oh, we're going to put this whole mess back right there. We're just going to take these two. So, Seven of Wands and the Ace of Pentacle and Wisdom. Can you guys see in this lighting? Does it help if I hold it back a little? They're foil colored and I'm in the, <laughs> basically the camping light here. I'll just move them a bit so you can see as we go. So basically when you look at this scenario, in Illumination, you definitely have the Three of Swords in reverse, which is ending heartbreak, which is going to become very clear to you with some messages in clarity because you have the Eight of Wands. Quick action being taken with a lot of messages coming in. A little protective here, but there's an offer. And you want to go slow. You're like, I have worked very hard to get to where I am. I'm not going to jump off the, the bridge completely. I'm going to protect where I am. I'm not backsliding. But you know that this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very solid materialistic offer. And um, you do have some healing to do here. And it's basically learning how to trust your judgment. Because I feel like you feel like you've been tricking yourself a lot. Now at the bottom of the deck we have the Four of Wands. So, and we've already had that right up there. So you've double tapped that this, and that's the 1111. So you have 1111, 1111 on 1111 tarot, as well as this is the 1111 wheel of life. Here we go. We're going to qualify this with eight of coins, wanting to work together in a sense. Somebody's coming in wanting to work together. In love, let's see what you got. Love, trust, and growth. Oh boy. Oh, you got the hidden card. <gasps> The death card again. So this is something that ended completely and you think is over, over. And this comes back. And it puts you absolutely in your head in love. And again, triple tap Capricorn. What is going on? Trust. Justice. You can trust that this is just. This is do you. This is meant for you. I kid you not. It's the hair font. Somebody may be offering you marriage with justice in the hair font. Look at your major arcana on this side of the board. You've got the death card, justice, and the hair font. And we still have to get growth. Show me growth. What? What's the growth here? Page of Wands. There's definitely this offer has grown. Show me this page of wands a little better. Qualify in the page of wands, please. Page of wand. The magician. Somebody could be a little manipulative here, wanting their way pretty bad. Or it could be that you're both. Um, this is someone almost, I, I want to say new. You're both manifesting this. You do not see this coming. Okay, let's get up here to this chariot. And uh, we've got this six of wands, which is victory. The empress, which is the highest card in the deck for the female. I shouldn't say female. It's, there's no gender in the tarot. Feminine energy with the two of cups. Somebody is absolutely wanting to just come in. What did I do? Push one of the cards off? Yeah. Shoot. Right into the grass. Okay. 
let's take a little bit further look up here with this all this victory and this two of cups wanting to rush in feeling all energetic and playful and flirtatious and what is going on this is definitely a new energy Another victor card, six of wands. You get six of wands, double tap. Uh, yeah, six of wands, double tap, tapped twice. This is in your introspect, like it's victory in the end. It's absolutely victorious. Dream. <laughs> in your perspective, this is my Daniel and the Lion's Den card. It's all about taming the beast within which is allowing yourself to heal and get over internal fears because the strength card represents the protection of the infinity sign here. It's also another eight. So it's in your perspective. It's in your house of Leo might mean something. It's about your childhood, um, your inner child, I guess, you know. So it is protection. You are protected. You don't have to fear like you were before experience what yeah you're getting the same cards again and again you got the eight of coins down here and the eight of coins here you're gonna be working together with this person could be work related or you both do something in the same field i don't know i just know you guys are going to be working together or you do work together you're definitely going to be co-creating what is this four of wands cleansing uh Renewal and purity. Qualify this getting away from this past pain, healing, so that we can trust again, trust the universe, not the person, right? Knight of Swords is being cleansed. Somebody is like going in and they see what they want and they are just cleaning their life up like right the hell now. Like they are just off with the head, off with the head. Like, they're done. They're done messing around. Renewal? What do we got here? I can't take this whole pile. I guess I could. Let's see what you got here. Queen of Wands, Renewal. Hmm. I kind of feel like they see you as somebody that is um, almost alpha. Like you take charge and um, you may own your own business. They, they, t they may look at the little kitty sitting there watching you. There might be a spirit guide around you that takes the form of a cat. Um, they're... They watch you energetically they see you as important to them they see you they just see you what do you got in purity please wow look at the energy in this reading is crazy what do you got five of swords they want to defend this they want this they want this it's king of cups they're hiding their emotion but they're going to fight for this when they come forward yeah. Yeah. Remember four of wands on the bottom? And you have the four of wands here. Um, this is two two divines coming together. There could be an air sign with that knight of swords. Let's go ahead and get threads of fate thrown in the middle here. You don't see this gift coming out of the blue. Power. Don't lose your power. Don't lose yourself. Because that's what's bringing you in alignment with this person. Is that you're like the queen of wands. You just, you are whole. You don't need anybody. You're good. They respect the light within you. That's beautiful. Let's get some blessings on this and then how far are we in the reading? We're doing pretty good tonight. Eagle.
communion. Look at the ancestor talking to the eagle. Your power is with the divine too. Commune with the divine. You'll be guided. Waterfall, effortless. Once this takes place or when this comes in, this will seem so damn natural. It's crazy. It's very veiled right now. It's fogged. You don't see it. But it brings in music and harmony in your life. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Do me a favor. Leave your DNA on the like button. Check out No Crime, No Time. And support Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey in their fight against wrongful conviction. And uh, yeah, last night, if you want the deck, put deck giveaway. And you can get that deck possibly if you're the winner. And then uh, make sure you're a subscriber for all contests. And then 1111 Tarot. I just heard something else. 1111 Tarot um, giveaway. Almost forgot what I was saying because of the noise. Wow, the board looks like it's just glowing out here. Shoot, when I'm home, I may have to take this out in my garage and just put this kind of light up. That looks incredible. All right, my lovelies. I appreciate your time, Gems. Um, you know, just know that, that you're doing you're doing the right path here. It says, take a risk. The universe is on your side. Just you gotta learn to trust yourself. Because you're trust you're walking with the divine. And as long as you're walking with the divine, you can trust yourself. It'll give you that protection you're looking for. All right. I love you. Let's see. Where's a good... Let's see. Can you see that? Oh, that looks awesome. I love you to the moon and back.